Hey guys, I'm gonna give you a really quick tour of the biodiversity that I found today here in the Napa Valley. This is a bluet, a Clotospe nuda, found growing subtropically in oak duff. Uh, this is an Oreo boletus species, not totally sure which one yet, but it's got good taps, it's beautiful angled yellow pores. Look at that. Uh, love these Oreo boletus. This is a Flocularia. These are edible. I like eating these. They have sort of thick white uh, cottony fuzz on the stipe. These sort of dark yellow tops. They're great mushrooms. Uh, this is a zero comus, a suede bolete. So it has a sort of very suede, leathery, fuzzy top. These really cool angled pores. Love the look of those. This is a Matsutake, Tricholoma. I accidentally stepped on this one. <laughs> it's the only one I found all day and I stepped on it, oh well. Super solid, amazing smelling mushroom. Uh, this is a piece of Heresium corloides. So this is related to the lion's mane. I like the texture of this better actually than the lion's mane itself. But I love Heresiums in general. They make great edible fungi. Uh, this is a Zero Camellus, probably Dryophilus since I found it under oak. Um, it also has these kind of crazy angled yellow pores. This is edible. Um, we've got a agaric here. So this is pretty similar to something like a portobello. It has a slight almondy aroma, and so I think it's one of the edible agarics. Um, this is a really beautiful Cortinarius I found. Check out the Cortina and sort of webbing that's here, along with those rusty brown spores and purple gills. Love, love the way this mushroom looks. Very cool. Got a couple other quartz here. Not totally sure, you know, what, what they are exactly. There's a lot of diversity in Cortinarius, but just want to show you guys a couple. Found a whole bunch more here in Napa that I can't ID and I don't know what they are, but I love the sort of sheen sheen on the stipe of this one. This is a rustla, so brittle gill, that red top, so it's probably a poisonous rustla, but I just brought it home to show you guys. Uh, this is an entoloma, so this has pink, pink gills. It's got some nice thumbs to it. I think this is the bleach entoloma, so it smells pretty gnarly. It's probably not edible. Um, this is a lepiota. So Lepiota magnospora. Um, some people think it looks a little bit like a nipple, so they call it nippolota, which helps me remember it. Uh, it's usually got some white fuzz too on the stipe. Uh, this is a Lactarius L. Nicola. So this is a uh, golden milk cap, and this will bleed at latex when it's injured when they're young. Uh, this is another tiny little Lactarius. It also bleeds a little bit of latex, but there's lots of different Lactarius. Uh, this is a Western uh, witch's hat. Hygrosibes singeri, I think is it. So it's a bright yellow orangey mushroom that stains black once it's picked and injured. Uh, these are sarcodon of some sort, kind of purpley, crazy looking shingled hedgehog mushrooms. And you can see you know, crazy little teeth underneath. So cool looking. And little gymnopolis, wood decay fungi there. But uh, yeah, bluets are out in season right now and there's a few other good things. Lots of interesting biodiversity of fungi here in Napa.